Hey guys, Sober Oni of G&A Reviews here with a different type of video today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Prisma Ilya Alarm Clock app. If that sounds familiar, it's because this exact app was released earlier last year exclusively in Japan, but we're getting it over here in NA. It's available right now on iOS and Android. It's $7.99 US dollars, $10.99 in Canada, and $149 pesos in Mexico. The developers of the app Monstar Labs were kind enough to send me an early copy of the app. So full disclosure there, and thank you very much Monstar Labs. So I've been messing around with it all weekend, and I'm going to give you guys my impressions of it, and whether I think it's a worthwhile purchase for you or not. So when I went to download the app, the immediate thing I noticed was the price tag. $8 US is pretty steep for an app, so I was a bit hesitant at first, but thankfully, almost immediately, I see why the price tag is what it is. It's not just an alarm clock. It's almost like an alarm clock and an Ilya simulator, and I'm gonna get into what I mean by that. First off, it is an actual alarm clock. It actually works very well as an alarm clock. As someone who is a heavy, heavy sleeper, I'm used to using alarm clock apps. It usually takes me about two alarm clocks to wake up in the morning, and I'm happy to say this works very well as an alarm clock. It has all the same features you would expect from one. It has a timer and you can set multiple alarm clocks. There's also a lot of customizability with the alarms. For example, you can have five different alarms all set for different days, different times with different volumes. And of course you can change the alarm ringer. However, unlike most alarm clocks, the ringers aren't just generic sounds. All the ringers on this clock are pre-recorded lines from my Kodawai, Ilya Seiyu. And there's over 250 unique voice lines on the app itself. And these weren't just ripped from the anime and put onto the app. Hundreds of these were recorded just for this app, which means you're getting hundreds of original Ilya dialogue. And the great part about it is each alarm lets you choose up to three different voice lines to mix and match, and they play in succession. So for example, of the over 200 voice lines, you'll get to pick three of them, any three you want, combine them together, and Ilya will say that phrase to wake you up. This ranges from everything from Ilya screaming at you to Ilya kissing you. And for me, that's the selling point of this app. When I first downloaded it, I literally spent about an hour just mixing and matching different voice lines from Ilya for each different alarm. Personally, I love to wake up early on weekends and get up in a nice, easy day. So I have Ilya tell me, that breakfast is ready and to wake up very nice and lovingly. But on weekdays, I'm more stubborn, so I basically have Ilya just yell at me and call me a baka and force me out of bed. And I'll tell you right now, it works. Like I said, I'm a heavy sleeper. This alarm is all it took to wake me up. Surprisingly enough, Ilya has a very loud mouth. And that's what I love about this app. It gives each alarm so much customizability and there's so much interactivity. You can design the alarm to say anything you want, and you can have a ton of different alarms all saying different things for different occasions. There's also a timer on the app, which you can use to count down for things and reminders. Personally, I'm using it right now as a reminder for the JP event that's going on. It's a raid event, so I'm using it to remind me when the raids are starting and ending, and it comes in handy. In a lot of ways, this actually reminds me, for those of you who have seen Overlord, uh, of the watch that Ainz has that has a bunch of different voice lines that are pre-recorded for different scenarios and events. It's a lot like that. You can have Ilya tell you anything you want her to tell you. She can even tell you it's 5 p.m., it's 3 p.m. You can have her tell you it's 3 p.m. and then scream Excalibur for no reason whatsoever. So for me, that was a lot of fun. The other portion of this app even adds more interactivity. It's the illustrations portion. So there are a lot of different unique illustrations for this app, all centering around Ilya herself in different costumes and scenarios. My personal favorite is Miko Ilya because look at her, she's adorable. But you can also unlock different illustrations. And I said unlock because that's how you do it. Using the app and having Ilya wake you up will give you a stamp on a stamp card. And when you finish collecting five stamps, you get a new illustration. Unlocking all the illustrations alone will take weeks of work. So it does add a nice layer of kind of like a fun mini game within the alarm app itself. Again, I'm surprised by the attention to detail on this app. There's just so much to do that I often forget it's an alarm clock app. The other major draw of this app that I should bring up is the sleep mode. So sleep mode is separate from the app itself. You're gonna have to buy it. Uh, within the app as an add-on and what that does is it allows you to sleep with Ilya and it is just what it sounds like you rest your phone next to you you know you'll have a picture of Ilya sleeping alongside you and actually interacting with you and talking with you until you fall asleep until she falls asleep 
And even here, there's a ton of content. It's not just Ilya saying goodnight Onichan and then going to sleep. You can actually choose what you want her to talk with you about. You can have her talk to you about school, about Miyu, about Kuro. You can have her talk about her daily life, sing you a lullaby. You can have her count sheep with you. There are a ton of different options you can actually customize here as well so that every sleep you have with Ilya is different and you talk about different things. And of course, for the whole night, you just hear her sleeping next to you. I know that's not going to be a lot of people's cup of tea, but I do encourage you guys, if you get the app, to try this once because it's actually very soothing. It's very much like ASMR. It really does have an effect and puts you to sleep faster and more restfully. At least that's what I've experienced. So overall, I think this is a fantastic app. I was not expecting anywhere near the amount of content that I got. Like I said, tons of voice lines. You have the whole stamp collecting illustrations, little mini game thing going on. You have the Ilya sleeping with you if you choose that add on. And you can mix and match the voice lines, which is a lot of fun. And at the very least, it's actually a very good alarm clock. I'm personally gonna use it as my alarm clock going forward. I'm gonna replace the one I had. So if that does sound appealing to you, I highly recommend you go out and get this right now if you have the money for it. Obviously, if you're not a fan of Prisma Ilya and you're not a fan of Ilya herself, you're not going to enjoy this app. But for those of you who are fans, this was made for fans of the show. This was made for the fans of that version of Ilya. And it's just a big fan service app that pays homage to the show and has a lot of fun features and generally works as a good alarm clock. So you get what you pay for here. I see why the price is what it is, and I think it's worth it in my opinion. So if you're interested, I have the website to the app linked below. You can also find it again, both on iOS and Android in your respective Google Play Store and Apple Store. And if you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, do consider subscribing. We have a ton of Fate-related content, specifically Fate Grand Order. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and join the party over at our Discord. Those links are in the description below. And until next time, this is Sober Oni signing out. Later.